Hola amigos, and welcome back to Mexico. I'm on a journey all the way from Mexico to the most southern point of South America, chasing adventures at every single stop along the way, and we are currently in country number one, Mexico. Today, I'm gonna to be diving in the four most incredible cenotes in the Tulum area, all with insanely unique features. A cenote is a sinkhole where the ground has collapsed, exposing the fresh groundwater underneath. And these pits are where the ancient Mayans used to get their water supplies from, but these days, they're just insanely beautiful dive spots. This video is split into two parts. You're now watching part one, where we'll be exploring the pit and dos ojos. We've made it to the pit. I'm very excited. We've got a maximum depth of 35 meters here and it's a nice clear day. So we should get some rays of light coming through. There's two special features as well. 35 meters is pretty deep. We've got a halocline, which is where the fresh water at the top meets the salt water underneath. And that's gonna be at about 13 meters deep. And then right at the bottom of the dive, there is a hydrogen sulfide layer, which is a poisonous gas. But obviously we're breathing through our regulators, so no issues there. But the most notable part about that is that the water goes hazy and it's like a cloud of mist that you can't really see through. Excited to experience that in the depths of the cave. So all that's left now is to get kitted up, get in the water and I'll see you in there. the hydrogen sulfide cloud at 27 meters deep. Ominous and dark, but not too scary to be honest, because you've still got those beautiful blue themes coming through. It's like a dream into that smoke with that tree stump sticking out, as you can see there. We kind of investigate in the depths, all of the dead, rotting trees at the bottom and made our way all the way down to 35 meters, at which point my light broke and Miguel had to sort me out with a, another one underwater after I signaled him. We made our way back up through the Hallock line through that murky water and then we slowly started our decompression through this beautiful cave with some insane rock formations the most beautiful ones i've ever seen these stalagmites on the roof above us awesome sticking out you gotta be careful not to nudge them and then back towards that beautiful blue light chilling here as we decompress such an insane feeling I have to say, that is one of the most enjoyable things that I've ever done. I can't believe how enjoyable that was. The ray of light coming in, I'd no idea it would be that strong. They always say it's not gonna be like the pictures, but it really was. And both clouds, both the hydrogen cloud at the very bottom, so vivid. And then also the 13 meter mark, that halocline was very cool as well. Quite daunting actually, the, the first bit, the 13 meters, because you can barely see, you feel like you're tripping out on the way down, but yeah, what a way to start. Maximum depth, 35 meters. Dive time was just under 40 minutes, I think. Miguel, you enjoy that? I love it. <laughs> yeah, What's I your agree. favorite thing about that cenote? Uh, I think all of it, because you can see all the nice things of the cenotes in just one. Like you have the cloud, you have the halocline, yeah. and you have light, yeah. and you have the formations. So. Yeah, those formations as well. I didn't realize how many there would be. There were some points where our heads are like really close. You have to... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Super old, thousands and thousands of years. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. So we've just checked out Dos Ochos, which means two eyes, because there's two caves, two routes we're gonna take. One will complete, and then if we have good air consumption, sneak into the other one as well. Main highlights are a bat cave. So we have 
the two eyes starts here go inside the tunnel then yeah. take left we just keep going keep going so we swim around the second eye and then depending on your air consumption from this point we go in a little and then we turn back So in we head down towards the back cave. This first section is going to take us about 30 minutes following the line the entire way through because it's so easy to get lost in caves like this. No natural light coming through either, only our torches to rely on. Checking out the rock formations as we float through that first 30 minute section. Everything's between about 9 and 3 meters depth here as we make our way towards the back cave and then we surface, pop into the light, there's a hole coming through making that little center day and we watch the bats flutter around just us in this ominous cave and then back through and we managed to get about half the barbie route in floating through looking at the rock formations following the lines of course and just enjoying the final moments of this cave dive Okay, that's us done out of the water. Dos or Jos completed. Which route did we take? What's the name of the one we took? The, the first one we did was the Bat Cave. The Bat Cave route and then the Barbie route a little bit after. <laughs> like half of, of the Barbie Oh, half, well, that's not bad, yeah. I was struggling with my air a bit because of the, like I said to you, the. Te the depth changes, the maximum depth was what, eight meters or less? Uh, or yeah, around 8.5. Then obviously we surfaced at the back cave as well. And so constantly going between like six and two meters <laughs> to keep equalizing. But And also you don't want to drag on the floor with the lights as well. So you're trying to manage lots at the same time, but it was good fun. And also no natural light in some places as well. Yeah, it was pretty, much. pretty dark. Yeah, it's not really tight squeeze to squeeze through, but you still have to think about where you're going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need to be careful. To <laughs> it's not like in the pit where you have lots of space most of the time. This one, you have to be, yeah. you have to sneak through sometimes. Yeah, yeah, the pit is huge. <laughs> yeah, enjoyable. Thank you very much. Thank you for today as well. You're welcome, bro. And that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me all the way from the pit to the back cave today. My first freshwater diving experience. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Couldn't have gone better. And I'm very excited to get back in the water for two final cenotes in a couple of days time. But until then, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Oh, you want me to say that? No, you have to. Oh, I have to. Like and subscribe. No, say it with conviction and Please look at Please like and subscribe. Adam Radcliffe at YouTube.